For half a century, he was the radio voice of the Golden Gophers. From 1951 to 2001, Ray Christensen was behind the mic for University of Minnesota basketball and football games. His golden voice will forever be remembered. Gives him a break. He goes in. He puts it up, lays it in. Clean break goes in and stops the ball. Miller has it. Taken away from him by John Thomas. He and Miller moving to the basket. John goes in and slams it in. John with the steal and the basket. So he takes it in solo. Slam by Sam. The snap. Big draw. Back to pass. Gunned up the middle. Intercepted by the Gophers. Consenius at the 45. Back to the 40 of Purdue. The 30. The 20. The 10 yard line. have upset the number one team in the nation, Michigan, 16 to nothing. We were saddened to hear the passing of Ray Christensen this morning, the iconic voice of Gopher basketball and football that most of us in this state grew up listening to. He had an Edward R. Murrow presence on the radio, always precise, great passion for Gopher athletics as well. Kevin Lynch and Jim Peterson, both stars on Gopher teams of games that Ray called. We'll start with Jim for some memories of this wonderful man. Well, Tom, I'm like every other kid that grew up in the state of Minnesota that, you know, on Saturdays, you know, listening to Gopher football uh, with my dad driving around the car or, you know, on, on game nights with the Gopher basketball team, the great Michael Thompson teams. I wore 43 in the NBA because of Michael Thompson, and Michael and I became good friends. Kevin McHale, obviously, all those players that were there, but it was Ray Christensen that kind of brought the game to the imagination of young kids and, and then would have did a great job of uh, you know, explaining the game to adults as well. But, um, you know, hey, when I was being recruited, there's two things that I wanted to have happen. I wanted to have Jules Pearl say my name at Williams Arena, announce my name at, at the game. Jules Pearl was uh, was longtime PA announcer at Williams Arena. And the other was to have Ray Christensen say my name on the radio. So it was a, it was a big deal. Ray was a great guy, very passionate about his job. and. Uh, um, he'll be greatly missed. Yep. Yeah, for me, um, I tell you what, the first time I, I met Ray, you know, you grow up, like Jim was talking about, you hear the voice. And so, the, but I had never met uh, Ray Christensen. So Roger Shipper, the old trainer for Minnesota, when I was a freshman for the Gophers, introduced me to Ray. I think we were in the airport down in Iowa City the day after we played against the Hawkeyes. And so I had known this voice because I had heard it. So then he introduces me to Ray and it was almost surprising. You know, he's kind of a small guy, wasn't very tall, kind of thin. And his personality was very like unassuming and quiet and shy. And then when he spoke, his mouth barely moved. But then out of his mouth, just boom, this, this voice that I had heard ever since I was a young kid. And Ray was a really nice and decent man. I know he was real close with his wife, Ramona. And uh, it's a sad day, but it's also a time, Tom, to celebrate. The guy was 92 years old, an incredible broadcasting career. I mean, half a century he was doing go for football and, and go for hoops. And uh, yes, he's going to be missed, but it's also a time to celebrate a guy who was a, a giant in this business. Whether he was talking about go for teams he loved or the goodness of Bond Guards cheese, Ray Christensen was always believable, insightful, and he will be missed.